Good day learners! Today, we will be dealing with the effects of electromagnetic radiation on living things and the environment. Here are our objectives. First, classify electromagnetic waves as ionizing and non-ionizing using the energy level. Second, explain the effects of electromagnetic waves applications on living things and the environment. Let us recall first the electromagnetic waves. So the electromagnetic waves are radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma ray. Let us identify the EM waves being described. It was discovered by Wilhelm Conrad Rowengen in 1895 to help doctors look inside the body in diagnosing fracture and tumors. What is this EM wave? So I will give you time to think. So the answer is X-ray. How about this? It is the longest wavelength in electromagnetic spectrum. I will give you time to think. The answer is radio waves. Next, it is the shortest in wavelength and highest in frequency. So what is it? I'll give you time to think. The EM wave being described is the gamma rays. The effect of electromagnetic radiation on living organisms depends on how much energy it carries. An electromagnetic wave with low energy radiation is harmless, while an electromagnetic wave with high energy radiation can be harmful to living organisms. It is said that radiation is all around us. Electromagnetic radiation is grouped into one of two categories by their frequency. So what are these? So first is the non-ionizing. These are low-level radiations which is harmless to humans. Next is ionizing. These are high-level radiations potential to damage cells and DNA. It is a damaging form of radiation. Let us go back to the electromagnetic spectrum. So in the electromagnetic spectrum, which are the ionizing waves? And which are the non-ionizing EM waves? Which EM wave has the lowest ionizing radiation? And which one has the highest ionizing radiation? So the ionizing EM waves are radio wave, microwave, infrared, and visible light. Well, the non-ionizing EM waves are Ultraviolet, X-ray, and Gamma Ray. Gamma Ray has the highest ionizing radiation. Well, the radio wave has the lowest ionizing radiation. What do you think are the sources of non-ionizing radiation? Examples are radio and TV wave. How about the ionizing radiation? X-ray machine and radioactive waste 
are the sources of ionizing radiation. So EM waves can be beneficial and can give risk to humans. Is skin burn benefit or risk? How about mutation? So they are both risk. Next is fluorescent lamp. Do you think it's a benefit or risk? Fluorescent lamp is a benefit. How about cancer? It is a risk. Lastly, the medical equipment. It is a benefit. So that's it. Thank you for watching.